9,340 pounds Cougar 32 BHS here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is a very slick mama bear. If the uh, 29 RDB Cougar bunkhouse, too small for you, but the 369 BHS Cougar bunkhouse, too big for you, this one fits right in between. It has uh, a little closer to the size of a 29 RDB, but with a little closer to the function of a 369. It's a bath and a half bunkhouse with a full size outside kitchen, bunk slide, uh, living room super slide, and then the extra half bath is actually right up next to mom and dad's room. So there's a bathroom next to each of the sleeping quarters and nobody has to go traipsing through the camper at night, stumbling through things and waking everybody up. Now, compared to a lot of those big triple slide bunkhouse fifth wheels, you'll actually maintain a greater degree of travel access here. Now, usually a big fifth wheel, you can get to your upper deck bedroom and bathroom. Um, this one's a little different though. This is a bath and a half model, and you can always get to the full bathroom uh, via the uh, outside direct entry door. But you notice if you don't want to do that, if you just want to crack one door and hop open, you can still get to the half bath up here. So, I mean, it's always pretty accessible in that regard. Now, this is where I, I think that this uh, two slide, well, I guess it is a triple slide, but not opposing slide living room bunkhouse kind of shines through. When you don't have uh, opposing slides here in the living room, it gives you the ability to still be able to get through here when the slide is closed. You can get around to the uh, refrigerator. You could get down to the dinette if you had to. So if you, uh, it's it's a lot more travel stop and and like kitchen pack friendly. Not full travel access. We're not going to be able to get to the bunkhouse, but I think overall you're going to be able to get to more things in here and have a better time in here. Now inside here, this is actually very similar to travel trailer layouts. Uh, like a very popular version might be the J Flight 32 BHDS that you find here at Halet RV. Um, again, this being adapted to a fifth wheel platform, and when they did that, they had a little extra room to include that half bath, which I think a lot of people are really going to enjoy. But you've got all the normal, uh, you know, Cougar features in here. Like we've got all these maximum size super slide windows, and they all open for airflow. They give you tons and tons of breeze. Down here we have a trifold sleeper sofa that we'll see in a little bit, so that can open up for some extra sleeping space. But what's nice is it's still far enough away from that big kitchen uh, peninsula countertop that it won't cut everything off. And over here we've got our uh, you know traditional family booth dinette. You can sit four people down, share a meal together, have a good time. As we uh, spin around here, uh, we'll come back to the kitchen in more depth, but one important factor I do want to mention is that this has an eight cubic foot fridge inside and a three plus cubic foot fridge outside. So this RV has over 11 cubic foot of total cold storage. That's pretty good. That's pretty cool actually altogether. <clears throat> Pardon me. Before we get to the bunkhouse though, I do want to take a second to point out the bathroom because with these doors really close together, it's easy to miss the fact that they did a really good job of sharing bunkhouse and bathroom space. You see how the bathroom kind of juts back that way? Well, on the inside of that wall is a whole bunch of storage in the bunkhouse that we'll get to see. They really partition that off very nicely. I like the towel hanging rack here in the bathroom. And this uh, door here in the bathroom uh, that goes straight outside, there is a deadbolt on that. I really like to stress that people do have the security and the privacy here. Uh, porcelain foot flush stool, and it's angle mounted so that you'll have plenty of leg room here. Another thing that Cougar is really good about is they're really good about making sure you get every ounce of like under the counter space you possibly can. That's a trend we'll see repeated back in the main, uh, you know, living room as well, or kitchen as it were. Now, all of our uh, countertops, whether it's the bathroom counter, the kitchen counter, uh, they're a pressed edge membrane so that there aren't um, seams on the side of that where water and stuff can get through. Now, unlike a travel trailer, you've got all the headroom in the world in this thing, and that's because the bathroom's on the main deck, on the lower deck of the RV. And that's something most travel trailers can't offer, is an exceptionally tall uh, bedroom. Another neat little uh, cougar feature, it's actually pretty common across most of Keystone, are things like this. The way that they have a, like a three inch interior wall, all of the doorways and all the cougars, they're fully studded out. And you can see how that's not, it's not vibrating even, it's not jostling in the slightest. Well, that, you know, helps keep everything a little bit more square uh, when you're going down the road. Uh, it's really important actually with like this door in particular, because you see how that door swings open. Well, if you're going down the road and you hit a chuck hole really hard, and if that door wasn't studded out, the door could pop open. And it could actually open behind 
the slide out flange and you couldn't see it but you would hear it when you hit the slide out button and the slide went out and crushed that bunkhouse door well you're never going to have that problem here that's that's one of the nice things about them putting a little bit more time and effort into the construction of that this bunkhouse though is on point it's uh it's essentially the same bunk room as you'd find in a 34 tsb travel trailer cougar uh this thing is it, it is awesome now one quick thing i want to note you notice how the air conditioner is all the way back here that is doing a couple things for us one what's really nice is because the air conditioner is not mounted at the tallest point of the camper it keeps the overall height of the RV a lot shorter than a lot of other fifth wheels. A lot of fifth wheels will put the air conditioner right at the very tippy tallest point. Well, now it's back here at the lowest point, so it's down below the arch of the exterior fifth wheel roof line. However, that means that if you wanted to get cold air all the way up to your bedroom, it'd be one heck of a hike. That's why we often put a second air conditioner on this 32 BHS, so that you've got an AC unit that shares centralized ducting systems on both sides of the RV. Keep in mind, though, that second air is an optional piece of equipment that may or may not be in, uh, present on the one that we have in stock. Always call our team or visit our website to see exactly what we have and how it's built, because we publish that information on a per-trailer basis. Another benefit here is this is a standard 15,000 BTU air. You don't have to pay extra money to upgrade to what just should be there to Cougar already. But this right here is really, I guess, the kicker of this bunkhouse. A lot of times when you get a full-size outside kitchen in a bunkhouse, you're going to have to give up a bunk, but not with the Cougar. This maintains four individual sleeping spaces here in the bunkhouse, and that's a really, really critical thing to, to point out in difference to so many other models out there. Now, this is also what I call a big kid bunk. It's wider, so if you got a long kid, they can kind of sleep crosswise on that, and I think the uh, older kids would probably prefer to be up there sort of in the crow's nest anyway. Now, once again, sleeping space, which is going to be one of your main purposes of any bunkhouse. You've got, uh, you know, four individual sleeping spaces. Now, this is a jackknife sleeper sofa below, and you can see that that folds into another larger sleeper, but it's closer to the ground. So if you've got a young in and maybe you're worried about him rolling out of bed, this is a perfect place to be able to put him at night. But one of the main benefits of having a private bunkhouse like this is that just like this, they'll typically convert into uh, a sort of second living area. And on a rainy day, this is what I call mom and dad's sanity room, because you can have the kids back here, as I like to say, jacked up on marshmallows and Mountain Dew, just going <laughs> and no big deal. Mom and dad, you can close the door. As long as you don't hear the kids screaming bloody murder, yeah, they're probably going to be able to take care of themselves. And having the ability to convert that bunk into that additional sleeping space right there is very, very handy. Um, now, storage is another thing this model does very well. Uh, you could also obviously put entertainment back here for the kids for those rainy days to help them avoid screaming bloody murder. Although, I don't know, if you wanted to get me and my brother to fight growing up, all you had to do was give us a Nintendo and we'd argue about who was cheating and the computer was cheating. The computer always cheats, am I right? Everyone who played the NES knows the computer always cheats. Anyway, back to the task at hand, this cougar, I got off on a tangent, anywhere they could. They did stuff. They did drawers. They did storage. They did something. They never let an ounce of space go to waste. Kind of like this little uh, pocket shelf below the entertainment center. You've got household outlets in there, so if you do want to uh, create a little phone charging station or if you need a little shelf to maybe power some uh, video game entertainment systems, if that's what you let the kids bring along, you got it. Now, nice big dresser drawers in here, too. Like I said, they just didn't waste anything. And if I can spin you around real quick, over here... You've got floor to ceiling, like extra linen storage. This could be overflow pantry storage. You can throw a lot of clothes up here in this thing. Uh, it's taller than I am. This has got to be pretty close to seven, seven and a half feet tall. And, I don't know, um, very good depth up to about my elbow. So about 14-ish inches deep. I mean, it's not just like uh, the idea of shelves. There's a ton of storage and space in here. Now, uh, speaking of space, what if this private bunkhouse isn't enough, and what if the kids want to bring friends and you just need to sleep, everybody needed more sleeping space? Well, that's where this hide a bed and the fold down dinette come into play. If you just need, if the kids want to bring friends, if you have a very large family, if sometimes you have adult children that come along and bring along the littles or something like that, or if you just have adult friends that want to come along on a family camping trip, you've got 
all sorts of sleeping space in this thing right here. Um, another neat little note, let me slide one of my gloves off here. Up here in the super slide, you've got a very neat feature. Uh, you've got uh, touch sense dimmer lighting. So if the kiddos at night need a little night light, or if you like to have a little night uh, light going on in the kitchen at night to be able to see through, or if you just want to dim the lights to help slow their little busy bee bodies down, you've got a neat little feature to uh, be able to accomplish that. I think that's just a really smart addition around the Cougar team. Now, so far, other than the bathroom, you haven't really seen anywhere where this is significantly different from a travel trailer. And that's really where, this is the like the official fifth wheel portion of the, the tour getting ready to begin here. Like this entertainment wall, they just had a bigger canvas upon which they could paint a lot more storage. And they didn't waste an ounce of it, just like everything else. You can see that they, they just never passed up on an opportunity. Down here we have an electric space heating fireplace. Um, it's a nice way to get some extra heat in the camper without burning up your propane, but you can use it just for LED visuals as well. Bluetooth, DVD, stereo, pretty common fare, but notice how the TV is not a 90 degree neck wrecker. It pivots out so that if you're sitting on the sofa where I'm standing currently, you always have an easy view of the entertainment package. Now they didn't just give you big cabinets notice, whether it's above the entertainment center or the kitchen, they put shelves in those big cabinets to double your storage space. Now you might need a two or three stepper to get up here above the fridge, but the fact is they didn't waste it. You can always do something with a cabinet, but you can do nothing with a something that isn't there. <laughs> Sounds like something the Mad Hatter would have said from Alice in Wonderland. Extra large kitchen breeze window, not just for light, but so you can also keep an eye on the kiddos. Remember we have a pressed membrane countertop, which allows them to recess that stainless sink and uh, flush mount the stove top there with that tempered glass cover to give you more prep space. And that's what's one of the cool things about this here. And uh, there are dual sink covers. You might notice one in the cabinet under the sink. I just wanted people to get to see that. And this is all metallic hardware. It's not plasticky nickel looking hardware. Now, space for a wastebasket below the sink and drawers to the floor to the left of that. Someone might ask, why is there not a fourth drawer above? And if you take a look, it's because the fourth drawer would crush the sink, and I don't think anyone's interested in that. And I think that three and the position that they're in is plentiful, but there's also a chunk of storage behind the uh, sink underneath the countertop. Thankfully, they didn't make it difficult to get to that either. They made all the storage very simple and easily accessible in this one. Now, if I can duck under all the cabinetry and slide my way upstairs here to the bedroom, one thing I want to point out, this is a motion sense light on the staircase right here. So it's kind of giving us a dual purpose function. You can turn it hard on or off, but on motion mode, it will turn on right when you walk around the corner, like I just did, or it'll turn on when you open the main entry door or when you walk out the uh, bedroom door to go downstairs. So it's always just kind of there when you need it. Now, um, in command is something uh, that Cougars have gone to across the board. It's very cool and does a lot of things. And what's kind of neat is if it's a little chilly like it is this morning, it's, it's pressure sensitive. It's not necessarily like finger sensitive like your phone would be. Now, anything you can do on this pad, whether it's uh, running the slides, the lights, or uh, controlling your air conditioner and your furnace, you can also do right from your phone with their free app. And that is a really handy thing, because imagine waking up at night and the, uh, the bedroom's too hot, too cold, whatever. Well, no worry. You can just grab your phone. You can c control the heating, cooling, you can do whatever you want with it. Now, In Command gives you control over all your lights, in your main cabin area of the living room and the bedroom, but you don't always want to have to walk over to that touchpad. You don't always want to have to bust out your phone. So the living room and the bedroom both still get their own individual light switch. Just really intelligent implementation. Now you're also noticing, remember that second air conditioner I see that we usually put on here? The only, if we have our choice, it's going to be here 10 times out of 10. The only reason I put that little warning caveat in there is we are a high volume dealer and Cougar's a high volume product. Sometimes, will blow out of these quicker than they can get them rebuilt to our specs. So if they have one sitting open and available, it's possible we might pick it up without the second air. Not normal, but possible. The good news, all Cougars uh, are all 50 amp service, and you can throw a second air on here if you are interested. Uh, all their fifth wheels are built that way. Now, a couple really neat things here in the bedroom. Those are not hanging closets. Those are just dual side cabinets. 
because you're looking at them going, well, those are awful short to hang a coat or a shirt or anything. Uh, we'll get back to that in just a second. But down below that, notice that they radius the corners below those cabinets so that if you shift over at night, you don't have a sharp corner jabbing you and nice wide open side stands. Um, and the side stands are just below the uh, mattress level. So if you don't want to feel like you're shoved in a box, if you're a little claustrophobic, if you like that space in front of your face when you roll over, you got face space in a Cougar. <laughs> Very CPAP friendly as well. Now, we will lift everything up to get to the storage below the bed in a minute. But I want to point out, you notice how there's no 9-inch death step in front of the bed anymore? That was actually a happy accident. The Cougar team was revising their pass-through storage, and when they did, they realized they could get a bigger pass-through and a smaller step all in the same uh, swoop. So, more like a big cougar than ever before, but closer to a small cougar size, weight, budget, all those good things. And I'm really happy with the closet revision this year. You saw the three big mirrored doors. Um, it's nice that they're mirrored because uh, it helps reflect the light from the opposing window in here. And it, it always makes the bedroom look and feel nice and big. The light-dark color contrast helps that as well. But, now, you had plenty of hanging storage in this. What this cougar needed was a little more drawer space. So they said, you know what? We could build a very nice dresser right into that closet slide out. But that does mean that their closet slide is a little bit bigger than some. It might mean that it weighs a little more, or it's not the dollar cheapest closet slide out there. But it is that extra storage I think you want and need for extended trips. Now, I mentioned we get back to those overhead cabinets or, you know, bedside cabinets. Just a quick little peek inside there so that you get an idea. Once again, not a hanging closet, but plenty of, like, additional cabinet space for, you know, things like sweaters, jeans, whatever. Um... Big space below the bed. Now, when you have a reduced step up, that also means you have more storage below the bed. And note too, we're looking at a plywood bed deck. Cougars are very good about using uh, the right material in the right places with the right ideas and applications. They're very good about that. Now, this is once again one of those areas where this one kind of separates itself from a lot of trailers. And that mom and dad, grandpa and grandma, whoever, master and, and other master of the RV, you have your own dedicated half bath up here. Huge vanity. Um, plus, another thing that's nice, guys, is now instead of having to have all the toothbrushes in one room fighting for counter space, you kind of split that up too. That's a thing that you don't think about until you're out there camping, and now you don't have to deal with it. And again, having your own half bath here, your own porcelain foot flush stool, it's just another one of those handy little features so that if you wake up at night, or if you just prefer your own privacy, or if you have two people that need to use the bathroom at the same time, I don't know what it is about family road trips or, or going on vacation, but when you get back to the camper, is it me or is it like you always are racing like, okay, I get first bathroom, you get next. Now, you know, you don't have to worry about that. You can get people through a lot quicker and easier. Now outside, the, uh, the fact that the, I guess technically this being a small Cougar fifth wheel versus the full Cougar fifth wheel, they have such a consistent look and feel about them. And that's another thing is the consistency between Cougar segments. They're basically, effectively, all built pretty much the same. Um, a, a really important update at the time of this filming here is that anything that says Cougar on it is now zero degree tested and proven. Previously, it was only the Big Daddy Cougars that uh, held that uh, achievement. Well, one of the revisions that they went through recently here is they made sure that if it says Cougar on it, it's zero degree rated. Trailer, mid-size, full-size, fifth wheel, doesn't matter. Um, there's a lot of things that went into that. We're happy to get into that in more detail. The fact is it is zero degree tested and proven now. Um, one of the neat things you may have noticed next to the in-command system are tank heating uh, pad switches. This has 12 volt tank heaters uh, for everything now, as well as uh, direct forced air heating on each of the tanks. Now, this is uh, kind of a pretend big cougar. It's a big cougar in disguise. And that's one of the reasons, uh, like this, like the 361, it's kind of, uh, they've got like an upgraded pin box on here, this shock dampening pin box, along with the upgraded suspension that we'll see later, because it is a little bit bigger. It does ride on a heavier chassis. It does weigh a little bit more. It's still under 10,000 pounds, thankfully. But, um, you know, it's, it's that sort of in-betweener, and they want to make sure that, that the experience on, uh, you know, getting there is as much fun as being there. They don't want you to feel scared of getting jostled around when you're going down the road with this thing. Um, now we've got uh, power front leveling jacks, power rear stabilizers, power awning, everything's push button simple when you're making or breaking camp. Um, 
the pass-through storage on this one is not as large as some of the other models. And that's because we only have one room upstairs. We don't have like a bedroom and a bathroom. We have a bedroom and a half bath, a small bath upstairs. But that being said, I've seen worse. I've seen smaller. I think this is actually still pretty good. You can still get quite a few totes in here. A lot of chairs, a lot of the outdoor entertainment stuff for the kiddos. And we still maintain that full private docking center. Full uh, outside shower on top, solar prep on the right. Key TV. If you're not familiar with this, which most people aren't, my experience has been most people that sell Keystone RVs aren't even familiar with what Key TV is because they don't read their emails. <laughs> it's true. Um, Basically, guys, remember the old signal antenna booster system that you would see on a, uh, next to the TV areas uh, on a lot of RVs? Well, Keystone is, you know, taking the next step. They've evolved the next step. And that's what Key TV is. Instead of the signal antenna booster, basically Key TV will auto detect the signal incoming into the TV. It'll detect basically what the TV is looking for, and it will adjust its uh, you know, signal accordingly to make sure that you're getting whatever entertainment you want on the TV when you want it. It's really smart. It's really cool. Now, a lot of RVs have walkable roofs. That's pretty common in the fifth wheel business. But I don't hear a lot of people touting walkable slide boxes. But Cougar has them. You know, there are aspects of this that are bigger, thicker, heavier than people realized. Yet, the weight of this compared to a lot of other things of size, Cougars are often lighter weight than a lot of the other products that even we carry here at Halet RV. One of the, so they've got, we talked about the three inch um, fully studded doorways. This has uh, two inch sidewalls, not the common inch and a half sidewall usually found in this class and segment. They have walkable slide boxes. They have triple slide seal systems with an interior rain gutter so that God forbid somehow water gets through two of the three of those seals, it'll sh uh, like shunt it away and channel it away before it gets to the uh, third seal. You know, they've done a lot of things here that are really smart. Like, if you look on those taillights, there's white sections. This has really bright backup reverse travel lights. We have a two-inch receiver hitch on the back, so you can uh, add a bike rack without voiding the uh, most comprehensive three-year structural warranty in the RV marketplace. That's something that Keystone said, you know what? We feel we're building the best RV. We're going to give it the best peace of mind and assurance. Uh, and, uh, you know, we believe in our construction, and we're going to stand behind it. And theirs covers more things like the, the painted nose cap. Because Keystone paints their own caps, they can cover uh, defects in their paint in-house. They don't have to do the finger pointing game. They've done everything internally so that they know the buck stops here. The good news is we don't really seem to have any problems with their stuff. But the three-year structural thing, a lot of people don't realize some of those warranties, they don't even cover like welds in the walls. Well, what's a structural warranty if you're not covering construction? Keystone does. Now we got a party going on this side of the trailer, starting back here with this full-size outside kitchen. Um, it uh, begins with that Capitol Grill that, uh, <laughs> what's interesting is Cougar actually helped bring that thing to market. When the uh, company first approached Cougar, uh, Cougar's the brand that helped them get uh, kind of like certified for the RV business basically. Now uh, up here, a couple things. You can see an easy reach appliance outlet uh, right below that spice rack and a real sink with a real drain so that you're not flipping the dog dish out onto the ground. I like the extra cabinet space out here, always handy. Very good place to keep like some uh, little bug sprays or sunscreen or something like that out here where you can access them easily. And a uh, 3.2 cubic foot outside fridge. So that in conjunction with the interior fridge means this Cougar has over 11 cubic foot of total cold storage. That's pretty close to the same as a Montana High Country Luxury fifth wheel. Not too bad on this little family uh, roller uh, machine here. Now obviously we've got a uh, direct entry bathroom as we saw inside with that uh, deadbolt entry door and I like to point that out because when sometimes people have never had an RV or looked at these things because uh, a lot of people who watch these videos are, are seasoned at least video veterans if not camping veterans but there's a lot of first timers too and uh, something that they may not realize is that deadbolt door there is you know something where you're not going to lose privacy. Um, now your awning, let me close this up, couple things here. This is an easy tilt awning, just two fingers pull and congratulations, we now have a tilted awning. But what's neat is it's self-correcting. So if you uh, either use the in-command remote or if you wake up at night and you can hear the uh, awning banging around in the breeze, you don't have to get up, you don't have to get out, you don't have to get dressed or anything. You can just push the button, close the awning. But again, you can do that from bedside with in-command. Very cool stuff that in-command. 
Um, full length LED lighting, and uh, oh, I mentioned it's self correcting so that when you close it, it will straighten itself back out. Now, this 32 BHS is a little bit bigger than some of the uh, the smaller Cougar. It's it's a big small Cougar, and so it, it, you do enjoy that nicer shock dampening suspension system on here, and you also have those nicer more ride stable steps right there with those adjustable foot pegs. So, um, kind of like right now, the RV is not level, the ground is not level, but those steps are sturdy as can be. And what's cool is if people are, especially kids, coming and going, ram riding around. It doesn't cause the whole RV to sort of jump and jostle around. Now, both the entry doors are anti-slam doors, which is very nice in a bunkhouse where kids tend to just fling cabinet doors and entry doors and everything else. You can see that uh, our compartment doors all have uh, the compression latches with the magnet holdbacks. Down here, we do have motion sense lighting. I just, there you go, right there it is. With uh, outside TV hookups, and that's your in-command brain center, basically. Neat little note on that. Let's say that touchpad just decides not to work, which we've never had happen, but let's say it did, just hypothetically. Um, there's still a switch in there that can control, like, your slides, your awning, your stabilizers, so that uh, you're never going to be, like, stranded somewhere. You always have a physical, manual switch you can use to override anything. And I'll tell you, one of the things I use it for every now and then um, when you first power up the RV, because doing these videos, I have an RV powered up and down several times, um, the uh, in-command system takes one or two minutes in total to boot up, kind of like a computer. It takes a little time for that to boot up. It's basically a tablet mounted on the wall if you think about it. Well, I can walk over that switch now and I can run stuff. So it's kind of nice to be able to open and close an awning real quick without having to jump in and out of the RV. So there's some different cool, interesting ways that you can go about it. And sharing all those little tidbits with you, that's what we do here at Halo RV, so that you get a better idea of what you're looking at and if it's the right one for you. Uh, we want to help you get your second camper the first time, and we do so without hidden dealer fees, but we do everything else like hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything in between. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.